class of tenses. So now we are going to deal with the past tense. As it is, I've already written the sentences. I'm just going to explain you, right? So in past tense also, as I had already said you earlier, it has four different subforms: simple past, past continuous, past perfect, and past perfect continuous, right? So the first example which I have written for simple past is Sujan painted the wall of the hall. Here the subject is Susan. So we write the rule subject plus painted. Painted is the verb which is in verb 2, right? Now the same sentence, here we are going to change the subject. In case of Susan, I have written they. So, they is the subject and painted here is the verb which is again in verb 2. Right? Moving into past continuous, I have written two examples. Here, the subject is Susan plus B verb. And the B verb here we are going to use was or were plus verb form as we are dealing with past tense. Why was and what? Because we are dealing with past tense. And what is verb form? Just to remind you or recall it, verb form is the present participle form of verb 1. Right? So Susan is the subject followed by we were, was, and followed by painting, which is in verb 4 form, right? Now, in case of Susan, I have written they. They is the subject and war. Here, I did not write was because the subject is plural, so I need to write war plus painting. So, they were painting the wall of the hall. Moving into past perfect, the same example I have taken, Susan is the subject plus had, had, here we just have had verb plus verb 3, verb 3 is the past participle of verb 1, what is verb 1? The verb 1 here is Paint. We need to understand this. Right? Next sentence we have taken is they. The subject is they plus had painted the verb. So had followed by painted the wall of the hall. Right? Next we move on into past perfect continuous. Here Susan is a subject. Plus, followed by had verb, plus being, plus verb for. So here we have the sentence, Susan had been painting the wall of the hall. Here the subject is Susan, followed by had, plus being, plus painting, which is in verb for form, which means that it is a present participle form. Moving into the next sentence, we have they had been painting the wall of the hall. Here the subject is they, but the had verb remains the same. Had been painting the wall of the hall. As the rule says, subject plus had plus been plus verb for. So we have different rules for different subforms. So we need to understand the rules very properly so that it becomes very helpful for us uh, in order to complete our assignments or our exercises. So here I come to the end of the second class on tenses that is past tense. In the next video I am going to deal with the future tense. Thank you.